Have you ever wondered what SNMP is and how its versions differ? Let's set the scene. Imagine a bustling city with traffic flowing smoothly despite the sheer number of vehicles. This is made possible by a system of traffic signals and rules. Now, transpose this scenario onto the digital world of IP networks. The traffic signals and rules equate to the Simple Network Management Protocol, or SNMP. SNMP is the unsung hero of the digital cityscape, a protocol that manages devices on IP networks. It's like a vigilant traffic officer keeping an eye on every device, ensuring they're functioning correctly and providing essential feedback. From routers to servers, SNMP plays a pivotal role in managing, monitoring and maintaining the health of these devices. This protocol is not just a single entity but comes in different versions, each with its own strengths and nuances. Now that you have a basic understanding of SNMP, let's delve into its different versions starting with SNMP v1. SNMP v1, the first version of SNMP, paved the way for network management. This initial version of the Simple Network Management Protocol was introduced in the late 80s, becoming the cornerstone for network monitoring and management. At its core, SNMP v1 operates using a straightforward structure. It consists of a manager, which is a system used to control and monitor the network, and agents, which are devices on the network that report back to the manager. This hierarchical structure allowed for a relatively simple yet effective means of managing networks. One of the key features of SNMP v1 is its use of community strings. Think of community strings as passwords that allow the manager to access information from the agents. Now, while this might sound secure, it's important to note that SNMP v1 doesn't actually encrypt these community strings. This means that anyone listening in on the network could potentially see these passwords, posing a significant security risk. Additionally, SNMP v1 communicates using UDP, protocol known for its speed but not for its reliability. This means that if a packet of data gets lost in transit, there's no built-in mechanism to ensure its resent. This lack of reliability can lead to gaps in monitoring data, which can be problematic in a network management scenario. Another limitation worth noting is that SNMP v1 only supports 32-bit counters. While this might seem like a lot in high traffic networks, these counters can roll over too quickly, leading to inaccurate data. SNMP v1 also lacks a bulk retrieval function, meaning that to retrieve large amounts of data, multiple requests need to be made. This can put unnecessary strain on the network and the devices being monitored. Despite these limitations, SNMP v1 laid the groundwork for what was to come. It introduced a protocol that was simple to implement, making it accessible for many. Its shortcomings were lessons that drove the evolution of network management protocols. So, while SNMP v1 was a major step towards network management, its limitations led to the development of SNMP v2. Building upon SNMP v1, SNMP v2 came with some significant improvements. Let's delve into the world of SNMP v2. This iteration of the simple network management protocol was a significant upgrade from its predecessor, SNMP v1. It brought enhancements in terms of performance and security, addressing many of the limitations of SNMP v1. One of the most notable improvements was the introduction of the get bulk operation. In SNMP v1, retrieving large amounts of data was a cumbersome process requiring multiple get next requests. SNMP v2 streamlined this process with the get bulk operation. This feature allowed network administrators to retrieve large volumes of data in a single request, improving the efficiency and speed of data retrieval. In terms of security, SNMP v2 made some strides forward. The protocol introduced the concept of community strings, which functioned as a form of password. This provided an additional layer of security as only devices with the correct community string could access the network information. However, while SNMP v2 improved upon SNMP v1 in several areas, it wasn't a full leap forward. The protocol still had some significant shortcomings, particularly in terms of security. Despite the introduction of community strings, SNMP v2 did not offer any form of encryption. This meant that while unauthorized devices were prevented from accessing the network information, the data transmitted over the network was still vulnerable to interception and tampering. Moreover, SNMP v2 also retained the concept of trap messages from SNMP v1. 
These messages sent from managed devices to the network management system were used to alert the system of any significant events or changes. However, these trap messages were notably unreliable as there was no mechanism to ensure that they were received. In summary, SNMPv2 was a considerable advancement over SNMPv1, introducing key features like the get bulk operation and community strings. However, it was not without its flaws. The lack of encryption and the unreliability of trap messages were significant security issues that persisted in this version. Despite its improvements, SNMPv2 still had security issues leading to the development of SNMPv3. SNMPv3, the most recent version, addressed the security issues of its predecessors. As we delve deeper into SNMPv3, we come to understand the significant strides it has taken to ensure a secure network management protocol. Firstly, let's consider the security measures. SNMPv3 introduces robust features such as authentication and encryption. These features elevate the security standard of SNMP, making it a more reliable choice for network engineers. Authentication is a crucial aspect of SNMPv3. It confirms the identity of the source of the information, ensuring that the data is coming from an authentic source. This reduces the risk of malicious attacks and data manipulation. As we continue to explore SNMPv3, we find that it not only ensures the authenticity of the source, but also the integrity of the data. SNMPv3 uses a feature known as data integrity checks. These checks ensure that the data hasn't been tampered with during transmission. This is vital in maintaining the accuracy and consistency of data, which is paramount in network management. Beyond authentication and data integrity, SNMPv3 also introduces encryption to the mix. Encryption transforms the data into an unreadable format during transmission, which can only be converted back to its original form by an authorized recipient. This feature ensures the confidentiality of the data, preventing unauthorized access and maintaining privacy. But SNMPv3 doesn't stop there. It also introduces a feature known as access control. This feature allows network administrators to control who has access to the network devices and the type of operations they can perform. This further enhances the security of the network, giving administrators more control and flexibility. In addition to these security measures, SNMPv3 also maintains the functionalities of its predecessors. It continues to provide the ability to monitor, control and configure network devices from a central location. This makes it not only secure but also efficient and user-friendly. In conclusion, SNMPv3 represents a significant step forward in network management protocol. It addresses the security concerns of its predecessors, offering robust authentication, encryption, data integrity checks and access control. These features ensure the authenticity, confidentiality and integrity of the data, making SNMPv3 a reliable choice for network management. SNMPv3, with its enhanced security features, is currently the most preferred version of SNMP. It provides a robust, secure and efficient solution for network management, setting the standard for future developments in network management protocol. Now that we've explored all three versions, let's compare SNMPv2 and SNMPv3. At first glance, SNMPv2 and SNMPv3 might seem quite similar. Both are used for network management, allowing administrators to monitor and configure network devices. However, delve a little deeper and you'll find some key differences. In terms of performance, SNMPv2 and SNMPv3 are fairly similar. Both offer enhanced performance over the original SNMPv1 with more efficient data transmission and reduced network load. The real differences start to show when we look at security. SNMPv2, while an upgrade from SNMPv1, still has some security shortcomings. It uses community strings for authentication, which are transmitted in clear text across the network. This leaves them vulnerable to interception and misuse. SNMPv3, on the other hand, takes security to a whole new level. It introduces both authentication and encryption, ensuring that only authorized personnel can access the network and that the data transmitted is safe from prying eyes. Functionality-wise, SNMPv3 also has a slight edge over SNMPv2. It introduces new features like the inform command, which allows for reliable trap delivery, and role-based access control, giving administrators granular control over who can access what on the network. 
In conclusion, while both SNMP V2 and SNMP V3 have their advantages, SNMP V3's superior security features make it the go-to choice for most network engineers. So, we've travelled through the evolution of SNMP from its initial version to its latest. We've dissected the basic version SNMP V1, understanding its simplicity and limitations. Then, we moved on to SNMP V2, appreciating its enhancements over the previous version especially in terms of bulk data transfer capabilities. Our journey took us further to the world of SNMP v3, where we witnessed the incorporation of much-needed security features, adding a layer of robustness to the protocol. We then compared SNMP v2 and SNMP v3, highlighting the key differences between them, particularly in the areas of security and bulk data transfers. Throughout this journey, the importance of SNMP in network management has been clear. It's a tool that helps us monitor, manage and troubleshoot our networks efficiently. Each version has its own merits and demerits, and the choice between them depends on the specific requirements of your network. Understanding SNMP and its versions is key to effective network management. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning.